I'm meteorologist Mark Mancuso, and on this day in weather history, Saturday, September 8, 1900, the Great Galveston Hurricane made landfall. It's unclear how the storm originated due to the poor records of the time, but it's believed to have begun as a Cape Verde-type hurricane, a tropical wave moving off the African coast. Highest measured wind speed was 100 miles per hour, but the Weather Bureau's anemometer was blown off the building shortly after that was recorded. Poor preparations were made as Galveston had endured numerous storms prior, and it was consensus that a seawall was unneeded. The highest point in the city was only 8.7 feet above sea level. A Category 4 hurricane brought with it surges over 15 feet, which washed over the entire island. Buildings were knocked off their foundations, and the surf obliterated them to pieces. Rescuers arrived to find the city completely destroyed. The loss of life was estimated to be about 8,000. Most had drowned or been crushed from waves and debris. 30,000 were left homeless. More people were killed in this single storm than all other tropical cyclones combined that struck the U.S. since. The Galveston hurricane remains the deadliest natural disaster in U.S. history 110 years ago. I'm Mark Mancuso.